Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW 1 Series or 2 Series, guys, with the four cylinder, guys, N20 or N26 engine, guys, that's a 2.0 four cylinder gasoline engine, guys, and you're trying to get the crankshaft bolt loose, guys, okay, stay with us and we'll share something very important because if you don't do it correctly guys you can end up spending five to ten thousand dollars on a new engine so you must watch guys until the end now what i'm talking about crankshaft bolt many of you ask me how do you take that thing loose it's super tight first you have to use special tools we'll explain about that second you have to have guys a special procedure otherwise you can bend your valves and you can mess up the timing on your bmw which can end up having a new engine that same n20 engine is used in that 5 series as well that's why we are making the video on this one but the n20 engine and the n26 has been used on the 1 and 2 series you can find it as well guys so uh now Quick introduction, every single car we get at the shop, including this BMW here, we make at least two to 300 videos. Why? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please guys, subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can guys keep providing those free videos to you. Let me show you what we have here. All the tools and parts guys that we use, okay, everything, you can find the links in the description of the video below. So this is the BMW here. This is guys, okay, the N20 engine. You can see the engine cover for cylinder engine guys. So now, we need to guys okay go ahead okay and show you can see this is the crankshaft bolt right there we have the breaker bar on it already everything's installed you can see this is the bolt okay right there and we will explain guys now what needs to be done you cannot just take that bolt loose simply why because that bolt is holding okay the it's holding actually the crankshaft timing chain gear this is the crankshaft timing chain gear there is no key on the gear anywhere so what that means that bolt and that plate holds okay that gear to the crankshaft so the timing cannot spin otherwise okay you're going to smash your valves guys you're going to end up needing the engine rebuilt or uh, having new engine installed so before you guys even think about getting that bolt loose you need to bring your engine to tdc point this is top dead center point pin is right there i'll show you in a little bit but we have a special video that explains in a great detail how to find tdc point on that engine later install the camshaft tool right here okay this is the camshaft tool that holds the, uh, the camshaft in in place and install the one that holds the clutches on the front as well and uh, after that guys okay at tdc with the pin in we remove the tensioner okay and we installed our manual tensioner so we can adjust the chain when we when we need to this is because we'll be removing timing chain guys we'll be doing timing chain replacement the whole video will be on uh, how to repair guys our main channel check it out guys everything from start to finish super long video how to remove and replace timing chain on that bmw so now that being said guys okay there is still one more tool that we need to use and what is that tool okay let me go underneath the car now actually okay let me go underneath and i will show you what we need to do here okay so bear with me for a few minutes okay perfect getting here guys perfect now this is the tdc pin where it's in now some people do it in two different ways always consult your manual guys okay consider this entertaining video but always consult con uh, consult your manual uh, at TDC, when the pin is in, there is one hole on the crankshaft on the flywheel, I cannot show you guys, where that TDC pin goes in. We made a video on the channel, so you can actually see the hole on another video, but we already have it at TDC here. And later, install that, the, okay, that's the flywheel holder to you guys, we'll have the link in the description of the video below. Okay, you remove that cover on the transmission, you slide it, make sure the teeth are all the way in the flywheel, okay with the oil pan removed i can verify that really easy and one person guy holds that thing really really good okay because it can slide and come out and that will be catastrophic for your engine hold it and later what i do i remove the pin out make sure the engine doesn't turn at all because at that point if it does you will mess up your uh, valves guys but some people will try to get the bolt crankshaft bolt loose with the pin in and that tool can develop a little bit of play and that play guys will end up 
Okay, stretching your timing, pin, hole and even crack the block. So that is something you need to consider guys. So what I usually do, I pull it out, I make sure we don't skip any teeth, I hold it really good and we have a second person taking the boat off while I'm holding here. Have, okay, make sure they don't drop any tools on you, you have the car secured on jack stands so it doesn't fall on you when they apply pressure. Wear eye protection because pieces can get in your eyes, you know, the usual stuff guys and gloves as well. And later I'll verify you can see the hole for the TDC pin and make sure you push it in before you do anything else and make sure that you didn't move at all so you don't mess up your engine. And at that point guys, okay, you just come on top with the big pipe, okay, and I mean huge pipe, it will take a lot of effort and just get it loose. So hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to do that. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.